How's going on everyone? Welcome to another video in the series of machine learning and in this video we are going to talk about loss function and cost function. So remember in the previous video I have left with the question that how will the computer exactly going to compare this line with this line and going to tell us this line is better than uh, this line. So remember uh, every line is comprised of y plus 2 theta 1 times x plus theta 0. So this is the exactly this line is made by using theta 0 as 0 and theta 1 as 0 0.80. In short computer have to find the optimal values of theta 1 and theta 0 so that it goes through most of the points. How will the computer going to know that? The computer is going to make use of loss function in order to tell us that this line is good fit and this line is bad fit. That is exa exactly we are going to learn in this video. We are also going to quote loss function and you'll see how the practically it helps us. So let's do that. Before understanding anything, I want to introduce, introduce you to the uh, some new concepts which is y prediction and true value of y. So I have created an uh, animation for you. So you see uh, we have drawn x axis and y axis and we'll plot our data set and it is something like this when x is 1, y is 1. When x is 2, y is 2. When x is 3, y is 4. When x is 5, y is 5. Now if you ever have to draw a line which goes through most of the points, you might come across with this line, right? And this line is made by using theta1 as 1 and theta0 as 0. Nothing too complex at all and that I have already covered in part 1. Now if I have to ask you that x equals to 3, what will be the value of y depending on our data set? So your answer would be, okay, so depending on our data set, x, uh, when x is 3, y will be 4. But depending on our model, depending on this line, what will be the value of y when x is 3? So it will be 3. How it is calculated? It is very simple. You just have to place the values of theta 1, theta 0 in this equation. You will get uh, by putting the value of x, you will get the predicted value of y as 3. So one thing to learn from this is that true value of y is 4 and predicted value of y is 3. So that's all. Now coming on to convention, true value is represented as y and predicted value is represented as y hat. So that was pretty much all I want to teach you about predicted value and true value. Once you know that, it will be much easier for you to understand about loss function. Alright, so I have created another animation for you for teaching loss function and this is the same data set we have talked earlier when talking about true value and predicted value. Again, we'll draw a line when theta 1 as 1 and theta 0 as 0. So line would look something like this. Now we have discussed earlier the predicted value of y when x is 3, it is 3. The true value is of y is 4 when x is 3. So for calculating the loss, the formula is something like this. You just have to say predicted value minus true value and you do the square of it. Now what it is going to tell you, it is going to tell you the current prediction, how good the current prediction is compared to the true value. So the closer to the zero it is, the better it is. Away from the zero, the worst it is. So if we put the values of y hat and y, you will see that we'll get results something like this. We'll get loss as 1. You can do it on your notebook also. So if I talk about uh, this particular point when x is 5 and y is 5, you just have to put the values of y hat and y you'll get loss as 0. So means it is very good fit to the point. Now since this loss function is helping us to telling us about one instance of our data set but what if we want to know if whole line how if whole line is good fit or not fit so we are just going to exploit this loss function to create the cost function so if we talk about perfect mathematical formula so it will be something like this h not xi minus yi where yi is the true value at i instance and h not xi tells you the y predicted value and formula for h not x if you remember from the part 1 it is theta 0 plus theta 1 times x which is the equation of line now once you know about loss function let us jump to cost function so this is the same data set but a uh, little tweak over here is that when x is 2 y is 3 when x is 3 y is 4 and other are exactly same again we'll draw the same line for theta 1 as 1 and theta 0 as 0 so these green dots will going to represent the predicted value and these red dots will going to represent the true value. Now talking about cost function, cost function is just the average of all the losses. 
now what do i mean by all the losses all the losses meaning loss uh, associated with this when x is 1 loss associated with this point loss associated with this point loss associated with this point and you just calculate the loss of all the points in your data set and you do, do the average of all the losses and you will get your cost function and that is going to interpret you or tell you how good fit line is for particular value of theta 1 and theta 0 let's see it mathematically so if we were have to calculate the loss associated with all the points and remember formula of loss is this so loss associated with this is 1 loss associated with this is 1 if we calculate a total of both of these points it will be 2 and loss associated with this point is 0 and total loss will remain 2 and loss associated with this again 0 so total loss will again remain to 2 and now you just have to divide it by 2 times length of your data set meaning 2 times 4 you will get results something like 0 0.125 something okay so you will get results 0 0.25 now uh, you you should ask a question over here that okay let's just first start the animation so the formula for cost function will going to look something like this sum of all the losses divided by 2m so if we take out this 2m part you will feel that okay this is the average this is the mean but what is the need of uh, dividing it by 2 same question um, I got when I started learning about machine learning and I came out with the answer that when you divide it by 2 you get optimal values of theta 1 theta 0 very fastly or the results look very clean tidy when you divide it by 2 you are going to understand it much better when we'll talk about gradient descent but for now just understand we have to divide it by 2 so the cost function is looking something like this now talking about perfect mathematical formula it is this that is nothing but a uh, same form of this function you see this part is loss function and as i said we do the sum of all this and m tells you the total length of your data set and we are dividing it by 2m that is what cost function is and that is how it tells you if your line for values of theta 0 and theta 1 are good fit or not so that was pretty much all about loss and cost function now we are going to code it so let's do that so first of all i'm going to create a new document i'm going to call it cost.py and remember we have installed already installed anaconda so spider comes with it pre-installed so you just have to open your cmd or terminal you just have to say spider or or you can go over here if you are on windows and mac i guess it just shows up over here also so you just have to say spider and it will show over here you just open it so i'll just uh, write spider and i'll hit enter it is going to take some time once you open it it will going to look something like this now what you have to do is click on this folder top right corner now take it wherever you have saved your file so i'll just do that all right so this is the directory where i have created cost.py so i'll hit on choose to choose this directory now come on to this tab where uh, this blue rectangle comes uh, click on files icon over here now from this double click cost.py to open the file and now you can come in this part to write the code and you can hold control key and scroll up down to zoom in and zoom out so that's all about spiders let's write our code now we'll start by importing numpy we'll also need matplotlib in order to visually see what things are going on so i'll just import it that's not necessary that's just to show you uh, how will the visually going to things look like now we are first going to define our loss function so remember if you remember the formula for loss function let me just show you so it was this true value uh, sorry predicted value of y and minus true value of y and we do the square of it so we are exactly going to do the same so this function is going to take a parameter called y prediction and true value of y will, will just say y that's all now we will just going to return the formula that was y prediction minus y and we'll do the square of it that's all and now we are going to uh, define our data set which is going to be something when x so that was our data set if you remember from the animation part now we are uh, going to create y prediction list which is going to use the formula of linear regression and uh, to calculate the predictions made by using this data set 
So remember, we also need two variables, which is theta one and theta zero. Let us initially set them to zero and zero. We'll just see how changing theta one and theta zero uh, results less error. All right. So now, if you remember, the formula was y hat, meaning prediction of y is equals to x times theta one plus theta zero. So we are going to iterate in for every data set point. For that, you just have to say for i in range length of x and now we'll say y prediction since it is a list we are going to append the y prediction for every data set or every data point so it is simply theta 1 times x for that particular i plus theta 0 that's all so if i just try to print y prediction just to see and i just run uh, this particular section you just have to select this section and hit on f9 or come to this icon just click on it you see we got no error now come to variable explorer so this was our x this is our y and this is our y prediction so for now you see every result of y prediction is 0 0 0 because obviously it makes sense when you multiply anything by 0 you'll get 0 and we'll, when you will add 0 obviously it will be no impact so let's try changing theta 1 to 1 and see uh, we have made a little mistake over here actually theta 1 over here should be theta 0 um, Actually, uh, that was just some typo. Let's run this once again and see the result. It runs successfully Let me open y prediction. So it is 1 2 3 and 5 Let me open that animation once again just to show you So this is y prediction right when theta 1 was 1 and theta 0 was 0 This was the line and this was our data set. So you see when x was 1 it was 1 that's right when x was 2, it was 2. That's again right. When x was 3, the predicted part was 3 and similarly. So now try to make some sense in your mind how the how this equation is helping us to do the predictions and how changing a value of theta 1 and theta 0 resulting differing the prediction part. Now we will going to code the cost function quickly. Remember the formula for cost function. So it was this. So we are going to exactly going to code this formula uh, now. Since we are going to code cost function for every y prediction, so we'll pass whole list over here now. Y prediction, and we will pass whole list of y this time. So it will be y prediction and y. For now, we only need this. And now I'll create a list. Sorry, error, and I'll initialize it to zero. Now I'll just iterate in y prediction something like this. So I'll just copy this and do this but instead of length of x it will be length of y now error plus equals to loss of this so i'll calculate the loss of y and y prediction so i'll pass particular value of y at that i index and particular value of y at that i index so that's how the error will be calculated and added every time so until now we have done this part of our formula now the left part is just dividing it by 2m so error will going to be divided by 2m which is 2 times the length of our data set which is length of y so that is how the error is going to be calculated let's return the error so that's how the cost function is going to calculate the error and now if i try to uh, calculate the cost of y prediction and y so i just have to pass this and i just select all of this code and try to run this you'll see that error is 0 0.25 and that is exactly what we have calculated in the animation part now let's try changing the value of theta 1 to 2 let's run this once again so the error is 3.875 so try to understand that when we change the value of theta 1 how the error is changing and if the error is increasing we know that that line is not good fit and if we change back it to 1 that line would be better fit than when theta 1 was 2 now i'll just do a fun thing quickly so if i just use the lin space function from numpy we have already imported numpy and it will going to take some arguments start value and ending value and now the number of values you want now in short what theta 1 is doing let me just copy and run it inside this terminal you'll see that okay np not defined so you just have to define run it and now enter it so you'll see that uh, there these uh, will be 100 values equally divided 
between minus 1 and 2 so that's what this function is doing linearly space now what i am going to do for every value of theta 1 from this list i'm going to calculate the error and store it somewhere else so what i'll do i'll calculate uh, create a list of losses something like this now i will iterate in theta 1 something like this so let's give this some indentation instead of creating y prediction over here let's create our y prediction over here because it's going to be updated every time and at last let's copy this cost function and once the y prediction is calculated by this for loop we are going to calculate the loss and we are going to append it to the losses list so it will be losses sort append use the cost and do it that's all now we have our cost losses uh, associated with every value of theta 1 that's how you can do that now if I just plot it or I'll use plt dot scatter to scatter the points on the x-axis I want theta 1 meaning we are going to see for every value of theta 1 what is the error so I'll just up going to scatter value of for every value of theta 1 what will be the value of loss let us quickly run it and at last I'll say plt dot show let us quickly run all the code so you say x and y must be of same size okay so obviously it is just silliest mistake i have ever made so the problem with this is that we are multiplying it by theta instead it should be multiplied by j because we want to uh let me just show you theta 1 is something like this and we just want to multiply particular value of theta 1 with xi and then associate the loss with that particular so let's run this once again that runs successfully let's go to plots and let me just maximize it all right so now try to understand this loss function you see when this it is theta 1 and on the y-axis it is the loss associated to it or error associated to it now if you see that when theta 1 is 1 or when theta 1 is something 1.4 then the error is least it is very close to zero when theta 1 is minus 1 the error is maximum when theta 1 is 2 then the error is slightly increasing so you see that what trend of line it is taking first increase then decreasing 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 then again increasing so that is what we are going to more talk, talk about in the upcoming part which is called gradient descent now again try to understand if we have if we were have to do for all the values of theta 1 for all the values of theta 0 this would take a lot of computation but we want to just automate it or teach our computer to find the optimal value of theta 1 theta 0 with minimum steps as possible so that was the main goal of making this video was to teach you how to find out the good fit line comparison from the two lines so that was all for this video i hope you have learned something new today and in the next video we are going to learn about gradient descent and not try to understand that okay you are learning about loss function you are giving your 15 to 20 minutes for loss function and you are just only going to learn about linear regression that's not the case in fact loss function are used almost in every algorithm you are going to learn even in neural networks and this gradient descent is used everywhere so we are going to learn about that don't think that you are only going to linear uh, learn linear regression using this you are going to learn most of the algorithms with it so that was all about it i hope you have learned something new today if yes give this video a thumb up and subscribe to my channel for more videos bye